my first guest is an Academy Award winning actor. Who you know from such films as Traffic, 21 Grams, and The Usual Suspects. Starting next Friday, he can be seen in the new movie Sin City. Please welcome Benicio del Toro. <laughs> You. You're one of the coolest looking guys I've ever met. Oh boy. Seriously, isn't this not? I mean, this guy, look at those, first of all, those sideburns. You could land a small plane on those. Those, are, <laughs> those things go and go and go. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. If you want to return so a compliment kind. at any time, just go for all it. Right. Aren't I sexy? Very. Okay, good. That was convincing. Um, <laughs> Now, you know, I, I want to ask you a few things. First of all, we just paid tribute to NCAA basketball. Did you follow basketball at all growing up? Uh, yeah, a yeah. lot, a lot. Well, you know, I grew up with Magic and Larry Bird. Right, you know? right. Um, Watching them, not actually in no, a room no, with no, them. No, no, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounded a little like you were on three bunk beds, yeah. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, so you grew up watching those guys. Did you, did you play a lot of basketball? I played a lot. I played a lot. I played all through high school, and I was going to play in college, but I, I decided to uh, take it easy. Right, right. And what, how were you as a player? Were you, uh, what kind of player were you when you played basketball? Uh, were you a guy that liked to... I was to... thinking offense most of the time. Right, you know? right. And um, I showboat a little bit. Showboat, really? You try and get fancy? Yeah. Yeah. And like, so I, kind... got, I got a nickname. Oh, yeah? What was that? Uh, my nickname was Benicio Del Turnover. <laughs> you have a name, unfortunately, that people probably like to do jokes yeah. about, you know? Yeah. You know, I'm crying. Can I have a Benicio Del Taco? tissue, please? <laughs> yeah, people would be cruel. But so you were, because I was that kind of guy. When I would play any kind of sport, I would try and make it all about check me out. And I was, you know, that's the worst thing to do is say check me out and then screw up. That's right. just a, right. a horrible thing to do. So right. you were turning the ball over a lot? A lot of unnecessary behind the pat behind the back passes you know, right right completely. like yeah. when the guy you're passing to is right there right. you're like <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that coming yeah, no right. i didn't uh, right. um well it's good you you moved into acting this has gone very well for you yeah. it could not have gone any better that's right and you know we we're talking about you today and I, I first of all I, we'll talk about the movie in, in a second which i saw which is i think it's it's fantastic i've never seen a movie quite like this it's visually stunning yeah. and we'll get to that but in all your work you are so great. You have such a great intimidating squint. When you squint, it's very intimidating. Have you seen Benicio del Toro squint in a movie? It is. Just give me a, give me the Benicio. De, there you go, right there. Well, that's more like the, and that's more yeah. like the light is bothering you. Right, or right. what you're doing there was I sicken you a little bit. <laughs> ugh, ugh, yeah, I don't like that guy. But uh, but it's like you and Bruce Willis are the two actors that I think have the best squint in the movies right now. <laughs> Which is a, which is which I'm is a, a great company. Th yeah, I'm that's a good, a good thing. You yeah. should do a movie where you two meet in a western town and squint at each other. Right. See, my squint's no good. My eyes just disappear. <laughs> Look at that. That's no good. You don't want that. That one is okay. The one on the left. The one on the left was okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible. When only one yeah, of your yeah. eyes is squinting and the other one's wide awake. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Yeah. It doesn't look as good. Let's talk about Sin City. Uh, this, uh, this movie, first of all, uh, the women in this film, uh, I'm coming off as a bit of a pervert talking about this. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful women in this movie. And this director, you can tell, loves uh, shooting women's bodies because they're not wearing much in this movie. Is that fair to say? That's fair to say, I guess. Uh, yeah. Well, it's the director and the writer. Frank Miller, the yeah. writer, and Robert Rodriguez, the director. You know, they're, they're, they both together, they're a dynamic duo. And... The movie's fantastic, and for what it is, you know, it's, a, it's a, based on a graphic novel. Right, right. You know, and, uh, and it's over the top, you know. It's, you know, usually in movies, you live by the saying of less is more. Right. But this is one of those movies that more can be more. Yeah. The action, I mean, it's very, uh, there's, a, there's a style to it where the way people fight and everything, it's, it's kind of reminiscent of something like Kill Bill, except it's visually very different, right. you know, where right. the, the violence sometimes is over the top, but it has almost a cartoon element to it, and it really works. It, it does work. It does work. Did you, um, if you do say so yourself, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, there's a scene where you get, I'm not, I don't want to give anything away, but I just, I'm going to, uh, <laughs> where you're decapitated, and they're part of, part of the movie, they're running around with your head. Right. I'm thinking they had to make your head for this movie. 
Do you get to, and it's very convincing. Do you get to keep something like that when the movie's over? I don't want my head. You don't want your head? No. I would want my head. Okay. I would think it'd be really funny. Okay. I would think of so many fun things to do with it. Yes. I'd put it in the yeah. back of my car facing out the back window. <laughs> Some people were driving behind me. They're like, ah. I think it'd be really fun. That's the first thing. Yeah. That's how my mind works. That's the first thing I would ask for. But well, you didn't want I it. Did, you, I, didn't, I didn't. You didn't. Those yeah. guys, K and B is called, the guys who did the prosthetics. It's like I'm wearing a, a, a nose and a chin right. in the movie, a fake nose and a fake, fake chin. Um, th those guys are great. Right. Uh, yeah, they, they made it painless. They got me in and out of that chair real quick right. with the makeup, and they're really good at it. Some so of they, them... I'm, not, I'm sure they have my head somewhere. Right, right. Just look into it. It might be a fun thing to okay. have. I'll take note. You make a lot of pasta, you serve it to someone, they're eating it, suddenly your head's in there. That's fun stuff. I would it have is, a... it is. It could be. Yeah. <laughs> the mind just, you know, right. just plays game. It would be so much fun. Uh, th this movie, it's, it's very di difficult to talk about it without showing... Uh, we actually have a clip, uh, which I think will help people just with the look of the film. Uh, and there's a lot of different characters, and it's really very hard to set up. But what can you tell us about this scene? Well, I, I play the uh, the villain, and you know the mov the movie's basically three different stories. Mm -hmm. I'm in one of the stories, and I play the villain, and I'm I'm going to pick up some uh, girl for some action. I'm 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 actually picking up a, you know like a prostitute. I'm like don't uh, be shy. We've yeah. all done that. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> we all haven't done it. <laughs> We've heard about it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so so, uh, so you're you're going to? I'm a... actually going to pick her up, and I'm flirting with her, and I'm the villain, and and she's a young girl, and she doesn't want to jump in. I'm pretty drunk. My right. character is pretty drunk, and she's just like, she doesn't want any part of it. And she also has some people watching her back in the scene, That's uh, right. protecting her. And uh... and the actress' name is Alexis Beldell, so and she's very good. And... Let's take a look at this clip from Sin City. It's. Uh... It's interesting because they changed... In the movie, they changed your face so that... I still knew it was you because your eyes are the giveaway. Only you have those eyes. But they change your face enough, it's very compelling. You know, it's you, but it's not you. Yeah, it's, it's that kind of movie that you can take those chances. You can go a little bit over the top with, with anything. You know, it's, a, it's based on a comic book. and um, it just, It's just one of those movies that you can do that, you know. Yeah, and I've said, you know, there's a lot of movies that are based on comic books or these graphic novels, and you feel like, yeah, there's a movie based on it. This is the, the one movie I've seen where you really feel like you're in that world. You're right. in a comic book. You're in a graphic novel. That's Robert Rodriguez magic right there. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. it's a really cool film. People should check it out. Sin City opens next Friday. Always cool having you on the show. Thanks Thank so much you. for being yeah. here. Benicio Del Toro, thanks for doing it. Jordana Brewster is coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Thank you.